So what up, guys? Uh, you're welcome to another fantastic edition of Spotlight with DJ Mascots. And uh, as you've seen today, I'm with um, the biggest female DJ. Am I safe to say that? <laughs> <laughs> or one of the biggest female DJ in Nigeria. Yeah. DJ Dove. DJ Dove, uh, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Um, this will be like the second time or the third time I'll be seeing you physically. Yeah. And, um, I must confess, I like your thoughts. Thank I think you so I, much. I told you this some time ago that um, I need to get something like this. Yeah. <laughs> we have a whole lot to, to discuss. Okay. Um, there are critical issues because it uh, concerns the female DJing. Let's start with the challenge. I just want us to go straight to the point, to the okay. um, case study. The challenge of female DJing in Nigeria. Putting yourself um, as a as a case study, yeah. Well, it's it's a two way thing. My belief, personally, I believe the how can I say it? like mm, this in our industry, they believe females are. I think they they are kind of scared, and again, they undermine female DJs. You mean the male DJs are scared, or the yeah, stakeholders? Like, Don't you think this uh, is tied to? I'm not saying. Generally, okay. because I know that there are few DJ, few female DJs that, when it comes to the skill, yeah. Because to be very honest with you, I think the female DJ thing we are not really taking it serious in mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. So we only take very few serious. Okay. So don't you think this is tied to the? I I don't want to put it in a way that you is going to anyhow. be kind of abusive to the female DJs. Okay. Um, don't you think this is tied to their dexterity, how skillful they are? I know some are very skillful, yeah. but majority of them are not. We, yeah. Do you agree with me? I agree with you. So don't you think, okay, these are part of the reason why people don't really take them serious? Well, yes and no. Yes and no. Some female DJs will actually be a DJ because of what they want to get from the other gender and the attention they want from the other gender. Some really, really like me. Yeah. I'm a music lover. I know music. So there's nothing you can take to woo me. If you understand? Oh, okay, wait, wait. Are you are you trying to say in exchange mm -hmm. for for physical cash now? Yeah. Female DJs get to I don't know about this. Oh, they do. They get they, they they do something in exchange. Yeah, they do. People come, they approach me too. It's up to for me. what exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want they to want know. to get down with me and stuff. There's lots of admirers, lots of people who approach me, give me their card, expect me to call, send someone to me to come meet them at their car, sit, and I'll, I'll be like, I'm not sitting. Say whatever it is you want to say to me. Oh, really? And they'll tell you they lodged. So, so, so place. They want you to please come and bring CD for them. When you bring the CD afterwards, <laughs> what is going to happen? What is going to happen? <laughs> oh, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So I won't tell you it does. It still happens till tomorrow. It's it even to me. But when you know what you want and you know where you're going. Hmm. No. And all these people have said no to. They are like, my helper to want till tomorrow now. Hmm. So imagine if I had done, done something, something with them, yeah. if I call them one time, they, MTN will actually ring twice, like boom, boom, second, they'll pick. Yes. And I'm not capping. This is real talk. Mm -hmm. All these people till tomorrow, they are the one helping me. Mm -hmm. They call, they actually uh, refer me for gigs, call me, come sit down with us mm -hmm. and stuff. You get me? So when you know what you want and you know where you're going, and you have God. Mm. All these things. Mm. So yes. now, um, there are some female DJs mm -hmm. that when it comes to the skill aspects, they mm -hmm. are killing it seriously. Yeah. So big respect, maximum respect to them. Yeah. But there are some, we know them. Mm -hmm. They are they are not even worthy to be called a DJ. <laughs> So I know that yeah. some are even using that um, the DJ as a, you know, a venue to meet people, a venue you know, to like, like they're hiding on that. Oh, I'm a DJ, mm -hmm. whereas they're doing something else. Mm -hmm. Is there a way mm -hmm. that 
the the real female DJs mm -hmm. can can try to address this. Mm. I've not seen any female DJ come out to address this. That you, the real female DJs like you, mm. should come out and say, "Oh, please, there is different. We are different, too." Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think it's necessary because when you do that, they'll think, "Oh, women supporting women. This is not women. They'll bash you." So when people actually knows who the real female DJs are and who the I don't want to mention okay. that, you get me. So, but when you come out, they'll be like, oh, guys have never come out to be like, oh, I'm better than this one. This DJ is not this, this DJ. So it's not necessary. People actually see, they know who the real DJs, female DJs are and who the other female So now DJs coming are. down to the, the, those ones that are skillful now. Yeah. They still open their bodies. Mm. Is that a, is that a PR stunt? Is it a what's it called? Um, you um, they call something unique selling for USP in marketing. Okay. Is that their own USP? Why do they have to do that? I know. I'm not saying that they sh that you shouldn't look good, look good but this yeah. is it is fast becoming, you know, like the ones that are actually dress half naked and yes. Stuff. I think that is their own brand. But me, I would never do that. You don't have to open your body for someone to notice you or how skillful you are. Dress appropriately. That is me. I see some female DJs and I'll be like, oh my God, like, what's this? But me, as long as I know I can yeah, dress like it. that, then, nah, no, I don't even have to dress like that before people notice me. Hmm. So whatever it is, um, rocks their boats, they should do it. And it will tell. It will tell. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> they can't do that forever. It's not possible. You can you can be half naked every time. It's not possible. You know, to get to a stage, they'll be like, there'll be 10 people sitting down, mighty high people, and they'll be like, oh, this is the DJ mm. we want. Then you see, eight will be against the same DJ. Like, no, this is the way this DJ dresses. I don't want this person at my party. So it will tell. It will tell. Nobody say don't dress naked, but there are some places you should do that. Not maybe like big occasions or anywhere just have to dress up naked. Why? To me, it's not reasonable. So now, what do you think the female DJs can do to to earn respect? I mean, more respect this time around from the industry stakeholders. What do you think they can do? So there's lots a female DJ can do. You promote yourself, let them know about your craft. You know, that's all. Promote yourself, let them know about your craft. Not necessarily posting, posting and posting for people to know. There are lots of people that can actually uh, do whatever online. Mm -hmm. But if they should play in front of the crowd, you'll be wondering, is that the same person I saw uh, putting out two minute video and what is this person playing? So just improve yourself. Okay. Are you trying to say what people put online is different from the actual craft? Most of them can actually read their crowd. They can't. Mm. Yeah. So most of them, most of the people you see online come out to do one or two things. They can actually read their crowd. You are in, in, you are in a crowd of made men, sophisticated men, and mm. you're playing songs that who does that you read your crowd you come in me even if it's high tempo there are kind of songs you play yeah so me i don't believe in the social media hype and reason why i don't really but i did i think i did that maybe two days ago or something mm. and that video i posted I've, I've done it like almost two weeks ago mm. that i posted day before yesterday or something yeah so it's not about it, just improving yourself that's all. so um I I posted a video where Scoopman I had to him that okay. which is um harder to play at is it in a club or um at events. Okay. Like a wedding party. It was like, oh the wedding event is very difficult and this and this. So and um in in contrast to that, okay. Funky B said oh the club is the hardest and so I want to know your view. Which one do you think? I'm more? never a club DJ. I actually love playing in lounge and events than club. Why? Club gives me headache. Too much headache for me. 
Yes, it does. Because you know, when you're playing, you're playing hit songs, you're playing throwback songs. People are saying, hey, some are actually sitting down, pressing the phone. You're watching. What are you doing wrong? You quickly want to change the song. Some are coming to meet you. Oh, no. I want to please play me this one. Oh, no, no. This crowd are not dancing. They said they want this. Mm. But lounge, people are actually mellow chill. They listen, collect your card. That's how I get my gigs. Mm. I've not gotten any gigs from playing at any club. But lounges, my faith. Yes, I can be on 100 BPM for four, for four hours. hours. Yes, yes, yes. But a uh, <laughs> club in here in Ibadan, by 12 a.m., you have to be on a uh, piano or 120 something. How? How? It's not so, it's not right. So, club work for me is crazy. I don't like it. I love events, especially birthdays. I don't really like weddings. Mm. I love birthdays. Yes. Birthdays fetch me more money than weddings. So if you have, um, if you're going to be paid one million era yeah. to play for just 10 people. Yeah. And you have, uh, and you're going to be paid 100K to play for 5K audience, 5,000 audience. Which one are you going to go for? One million to play, play for 10, 10 people. Yes, just 10 people. Uh, 100,000 to play for. Oh, is that 1 million? Because the 10 people sitting are... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the 10 people. Those are the kind of job I like, Seth. Yes. Not the 5K, I uh, know. Mm. The 1 million for 10, for 10 people, I go for that. In the next five years, yeah. what should we expect from DJ, DJ Do? Ah, God willing. God, it's only God that I'm knows what... Huh? Oh, you want to japa? Oh, that japa is not my kind of thing. Okay. Nah. If, if even if I'm traveling, I have to just go and come. I don't believe in japa mm. because I still have a lot of things I want to do in Africa. Mm. You know that I don't want to have another job. But here, I'll make my money. Me, I never believed. I was actually born in Belgium, so I don't believe in japa thing. It's not my thing. If I want to, I would have been in UK since last year. Or year before, but it's not my thing. I'll just go and come back and go and come back. So what 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 really amuses you when you see a fellow DJ playing? You know, what amuses you? Why do you feel like, oh wow, interesting? I love this. Mm, what are, are you talking about generally or generally? Here in yes, I mean generally. Mm, I don't. I can't really say DJ amuses me like really? that. Yeah, the only DJ I can actually watch that will have goosebumps is Consequence. Oh. I love that guy, Consequence. So what, yeah. what makes you... The way he switches, you won't even see it coming. Like that's an exceptional DJ. Yeah, Consequence is actually good. Like I not like look up to him, but I actually like the way he plays. And if you ask me in Africa, who do I actually like? He's the one. Consequence. Consequence. <laughs> Consequ in Africa, consequence. So big yeah. shout out to DJ Consequence. Yes. Uh, the vibe machine. But I muse, I don't know. Everybody. How about the female DJs? None. Female, oh, there's this lady, Dope Caesar. Oh, oh yes. Dope she Caesar. Like you, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this lady. Then the, there's the, there's a lady before Dope Caesar, um, DJ Switch. Yes. So, did switch. I get the name right? Yes, switch. Yes, switch. Yes. yes. Then the female DR. Yeah, thank the you Lambo. for me. Huh? Lambo. Do you know Lambo? I've not heard the big DJ. Yes. I've not really. Hmm, but I've right really now, the again. DJ was in my head. DJ Dope Caesar. Or is it Dope Caesar the DJ? Or, yeah. Yeah. DJ, DJ Dope Caesar. Female DJs. Then um, there's this lady. I, I think she's half cast. She does lots of mashup. Um, oh my Brooke, god. Brooke Bailey. Yeah, God bless you. Brooke Bailey. Yeah, those two. Then uh, maybe there are a couple about those are the two that can about well, top scissors. Uh, like we have a, like a on whole my lot list. Of female female DJs that are doing very fine. Yeah, but very I can't really cool. mention their name, but the people that actually that I'll be like, no, I have to watch the video five times. I think I, th I think times. very soon there should be like a, a female DJ like Exactly. I, I, pray. I think they've they done like uh, they did that three, four years ago 
they actually invited to see the DJ when she was still in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we Lagos. Lagos. Oh, yes. Just female DJs. Yeah, just female DJs. Oh, All Lagos female DJs were present. So they yeah, that's what we I need. Think. We need stuff like this to, yeah. to keep happening. Yeah. Actually, spoke to work about it. Yes. I please. told DJ Wealth about Come up with it. something like this. Again, yeah. So that even if it's here in this mm -hmm. system, we know small for this town. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, what's your what's your word of advice for uh, a, a grooming female DJs, the young ones? Just um, learn your craft well, um, and know God. Pray. Nothing more. Nothing more. Just know your craft for the. Also, don't do drugs. Yes, don't do drugs, and make sure you pray and know God and pray for grace. Yeah. Mm, pray for grace. Yes. I, I got that. I got that. Yeah. So thanks so much. Um, what's my recording time? Oh, yes. Fantastic. Mm. Uh, thanks so much. Um, You're DJ, welcome. DJ Dove. Why did you do so? Um, when I was actually in secondary school, you know, when, when my dad's driver takes us to school, I have this foam in my backpack. Okay. So whenever I walk and there's dust, I'll just clean oh, my really? shoes like and everything. You want everything to everything has clean. to be neat. So somebody just said, you are just like a dove. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So when I was learning how to be a DJ and they asked what me... What was your DJ? DJ Gaffop. Ah, that's my boss. Oh, boss of all bosses. DJ when, Gaffop. When, when, when was that? This when was 20, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Okay. To to now. Oh, you're still learning. <laughs> no, 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 learning, but I'm still learning, learning from, from afar. him. Yeah, I'm still learning from him. But I started 2015, early 2015. Yeah, wow. from DJ Gaffer. Uh, it's it has still been my a boss. beautiful journey. From, yeah. I mean, assessing you. Yeah, yeah. I like your style. I like your. Thank I like you, way you so play. Thank you. I like. I like DJs that you know. Big respect to Afrobeats. Yeah. Not, but I like. Definitely, DJing, uh, DJing came from the West. Mm -hmm. And the best way you can see the, the finesse in DJing is, um, is their hip hop. Okay. Yes, basically hip hop and R&B. Yeah. So, you tilt towards, because myself, I, that is, even when I'm playing in the club, before I can say, oh, I want to play Afrobeats, ah, you, you have know. to beg. Mm -hmm. You beg, beg, beg. So, I like, I like your style. I have to Thank you so much. So, so keep, keep doing what you're doing keep being real yeah oh i can't even change this is me appreciate your presence thank you I'm so much sure. for having me i'm very sure if if i call you back very soon oh definitely i'll come like yeah all right so I thanks will. so much you're welcome